Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about packs, opening packs, and whether you should sell or hold the players that you pack in the early stages of FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. Whether you're opening FIFA 21 pre-order packs, whether you're opening packs with FIFA points off the start of the game during EA Access or during early access, I want to talk to you guys about selling or holding those players. What is going to be the most efficient way for you to get the most out of those coins that you will make from players and selling those items because a lot of these cards are going to be going up in price in the first few days in the first week or two and a lot of cards are going to be going down in price in that same time frame so i want to kind of talk to you guys about when the best time to sell these cards are going to be and also today we kind of have to talk about i guess you could call it opportunity cost uh, and just thinking about, hey, if I sell this card now, I might be able to sell it for 5,000 coins in three or four days. It might be seven or 8,000 coins, but using that 5,000 coins, I can go do these other things on the game. And even though it might be, you know, two or 3K more later, I'm able to do more things and that possibly might grant me more coins than I would just get for waiting for this card to rise. So we're going to talk through a lot of that stuff today and just kind of give you guys a basis for it. whether you're opening packs or whether you're just opening your pre-order packs, should you be selling or holding those players? As you can see, we have three cards in front of us here, Klosterman, Allison, and Martial, and all three of these represent something in particular that I want to speak about today. So first things first. Anthony Martial, very meta, very overpowered. He's going to be cheap day one, day two, and he's going to start going up in price very quickly. So if you pack this guy during pre-order packs, what would I say to you? I would say hold. If you pack this card at any point in time, honestly, uh, within the first week, whether it's web app or EA Access, you're going to want to hold that card because this is the type of card and player in FIFA 21 that is going to continue to rise in price. I bet if we even look at his card from last year, we would be able to get a nice little uh, just image of what these meta cards do that are a little bit lower rated. See, if you pack this card in the first day or so, uh, basically if you pack this card in the first two weeks, you want to ship that card out right away because after that, he continues to go down in price. Yes, you know, you might want to use this in your team, and I totally understand that. But if it's day one, you're opening packs, and you pack a meta player like Martial, like uh, Lucas Mora, like Gareth Bale, um, or, or Ben Yedder, or even a guy like Mbappe, Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, those types of players, if you pack them day one from your pre-order packs, I would wait at least until that first weekend or maybe even first full week of FIFA coming out for especially the higher rated guys. And then I would sell those cards then. So a guy like Anthony Martial, I would keep and I would hold just for a couple days until we get into the EA access, early access time period at least. Then I would cash out on that card because if you sold them first day, 31,000 coins, you could have waited two, get, two days and doubled your money. Now, that's the type of hold that is worth it. Du waiting for a card to double or possibly triple in value over a two to three day time span, I will always tell you to hold that card no matter what. It's some of these other cards that we'll talk about, like Klosterman and Allison, that may not have rises like that, that we actually want to sell straight away. So let's go into a card that I think you can sell straight away. This is a card if you pack it during early access or if you pack it even during like the first week or so of FIFA Ultimate Team, I would sell this card right off the bat. Yes, he did have a bit of a rise. And again, this goes for any meta card, right? Any card that is like 83 or 84 rated plus that is any sort of meta or usable, selling it, if you pack it day one, do not sell those cards until the first weekend, right? If it's anything that is meta, even if it's just high rated and SBC fodder, I would wait to sell those cards until that first weekend um, because that's when, before all the pack weight comes in, all these cards are usually a bit more expensive. So if it's meta again or 83 rated plus, I would wait to sell those. But you want to sell this card pretty quick because again, after this, he really starts to drop off. And again, before Icon SBCs came out, this dude went from 66,000 coins all the way down to 28,000 coins before shooting back up to 45K last year when Icon, the baby Icon came out. So if you pack a guy like Allison, like Ter Stegen, I would even honestly throw like Busquets in this category or some of the high rated cards that are SBC fodder, Tony Cruz, uh, Modric is usable, but you know, high rated and probably gonna continue to drop like an Allison card did. I would cash those cards out that first weekend ASAP, right? I would cash those cards out right away 
um, and get the coins right away because those cards are going to drop very quickly because they're just not that meta. And I would just take the coins from those. You can use those coins elsewhere and be more efficient with those coins. So let's talk about stuff that you actually want to sell right away. When you're opening your pre-order packs, what type of stuff do you want to sell? This would not be an item that would sell right away. As Again, as I mentioned, like with the Allison, with the Anthony Martial, the time to sell this would be that first weekend, right? So three to four days after EA Access comes out, that would be the time to sell any meta player that is um, not Mbappe, Ronaldo, Messi. I might keep holding those cards. Uh, but if it's especially a low-rated meta player like a Klosterman um, or somebody like Mukiele, somebody possibly like Vinicius Jr. or a Richarlison possibly, I would sell those cards on that Sunday of Squad Battle Rewards. Saturday or Sunday of Squad Battle Rewards, I would cash those out because if it's low-rated, it's going to get pummeled with supply come early access and the full drop of the game later that next week. So just be very, very careful with those cards. I would cash those out as early as possible if you pack those now let's say you pack somebody like this right like this is basically a card you're not going to use for your team uh you know from your pre-order packs this is a card a lot of you guys might pack somebody like this somebody who's even a non-rare or a rare card that's like 75 to 80 rated take the coins on this because you have to sell something at the start of the game from your pre-order packs you have to sell something in order to have a coin balance to even do anything on the game so this is the type of card that i would sell right away any card that is not meta that is not going to make it into your starter squad or that you won't need for completing an sbc that is an advanced sbc or an sbc that would come out that would get you tradable packs in that first week uh, like hybrid leagues or hibernations i would sell those cards right away because you have to have some sort of coins that are coming into the club right away off the rip or else you're not going to be able to do anything right if you pack Klosterman, if you pack somebody like wambi saka or you know even another like low rated guy like atal or mbabu and you sell them right away you might be missing out on some coins from two to three, four days later. But if you sell a guy like this, you're not going to be missing out on any coins like at all. If it's somebody who is just purely SBC fodder that is not in a position or in a league that is going to be inflated for SBCs that will come or for more people getting on the game and doing SBCs. Now, if you pack an Argentine left back like last year, those were like three to four thousand coins on day three or four, but they were one to two K on day one or two. So you know, types of cards like that could still go up a little bit with SBC demand. But cards like this, these are the ones that you want to sell right away. Take the cash on those. But again, if it's anything meta, even if it's like, let's say you pack Callum Wilson, right? This is a card that might get a once to watch this year. This dude was an 80 rated striker last year. Now, he got knocked down on some pace this year. So I don't think he's going to be much more like two, 3,000 coins. This is kind of an SBC fodder card. I would probably sell this right away because yes, he's English. Yes, he's in the Premier League. He might go from 2,000 coins on day one to 4,000 coins after a couple days after that. But really, if you, are you going to wait three or four days to get 2,000 coins so that you can go do SBCs? No, you want those coins right away. And then to be able to go do SBCs and possibly pack more players that will grant you more coins, uh, you know, like an Anthony Martial, like an Allison, cards like that. So, a lot of that low rated stuff from your pre-order packs, I would sell, sell, sell. And that's where you're going to generate some of those funds to actually start and start doing things inside of FIFA 21 and getting your coin balance higher. So that's kind of where I'm at with this stuff. Now let's talk again. Like, let's say you pack Cristiano Ronaldo, right? Let's say you are one lucky mug and you pack 92 rated Cristiano Ronaldo in a pack in the first week on FIFA Ultimate Team. What are you going to want to do? with stuff like Ronaldo. Now, I'm not going to look at Ronaldo's FIFA 20 card. I'm going to look at his FIFA 19 card because in FIFA 20, uh, he was not meta. And this year, I think Ronaldo is going to be more meta just by the way the gameplay looks, especially if heading is a thing. Ronaldo, start of FIFA 19 was 1.3 mil on the PlayStation, 1.7 on the Xbox. And by two months later, he is over 2.5 million coins on the PlayStation. So that's a 1.2 million coin rise in about a month and a half. That, honestly, if you pack a card like this and it's really meta, obviously Ronaldo, Mbappe, Neymar, those cards are going to be really meta. Honestly, what I would do is I would chuck that card in your team and even it might look like your team is so super heavily weighted to one card, but start to build your squad around that player and honestly, play with him, have fun, 
get the, you know, maybe you'll be able to attain a better weekly reward with a card like Ronaldo with Messi. And then just ride that out for the rest, you know, for like a month or so until it continues to go up. Now, the only exception to this and the only exception to like all this stuff that I'm talking about is if you are somebody who is a top tier trader in this game and you make a lot of coins from trading, like what a lot of us do here on this channel, I would definitely tell you that you might want to sell a few more things than hold. So let's say a guy like Allison is 25k day one and he goes to 40k by day three but if you're a top tier trader and you're going to take those 20,000 coins and then um, go invest in other players you do want to sell a few cards if you're going to be uh, if you trust your trading abilities to go and make informed decisions and profitable moves on the transfer market that's something that you kind of have to look at yourself view yourself and say hey what am i trying to do with my team what am i trying to do with my coin balance and then maybe you take a little bit of risk by selling that player earlier you know it's going to rise up a little bit in the next two to three days or even four days but then you're able to go invest in other players and actually come out ahead of where you would be if you would have just held that player. So I get if that makes sense to you guys, it's kind of like an opportunity cost situation where, yes, I can hold this player and make this much, or I can sell this player and possibly make this much based off of investing in other players and seeing those prices rise in the same time frame. So just something to kind of consider and to think about kind of checking yourself and knowing where you're at and what you want to do with FIFA and your coin balance, especially how much you trust yourself in doing that. And of course, I'm going to be shouting out investments. I'm going to be shouting out market trends and movements and tips and everything on this channel in that time frame. So you'll have some help, of course. I'm not going to sit here and, and just not tell you what to buy. I will tell you some things to buy, of course. But I just want to kind of get your minds thinking right for when you're opening packs early time FIFA 21 in these next couple of days as the web app and as EA access are coming out. Should you be selling or holding those players um, based off of your skill level with trading and what you want to do with this game and also just knowing the general market trends and knowing what these players do and what their prices are going to do. That's huge. Like that is honestly huge. And that can, you know, like let's say somebody watched this video or didn't watch this video. They sold Allison for 30K and then the next day they can sell him for 60K. You kind of you feel pretty bad, man. You're like, man, if I would have watched this video a few days ago, I might have made 20,000 more coins if I would have waited. And to them, somebody who doesn't trade and just plays the game, that's big time info. So just trying to put things in perspective, but I wanted to make this video for you guys today because this is important and it's good to talk about and it helps you manage your club better at the start of FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.